Howdy doody, neighboroonies. This is Pastor Fish with our weekly word. I want to start out by talking about the things that are coming up here at our church. There's a reason I'm wearing this ridiculous hat, I promise. We are having our, the Fuoto Garden Party this Saturday uh, from 2 to 6. Bring your hats for some fun, fellowship, and food. We're thankful for the Fuotos for having uh, just all, everyone over and uh, for us to be able to look at their beautiful gardens. So if you are interested, uh, come and join us uh, this Saturday from 2 to 6 uh, for a fun event. The next thing I want to draw your attention to is actually a Godspeed for Jacob Hansen. We'll be having that this Sunday during service. Uh, Jacob is headed to the Coast Guard and we want to send him off uh, with our blessing and with our support and love. And uh, I know Jacob is someone who's not totally loving the spotlight, but it's our way of showing Jacob, uh, who has grown up in this church, just again, how much we're proud of him, how much we've enjoyed him being a part of this uh, family, and we're so excited for his next journey. Finally, I want to talk about next Sunday is our annual outdoor worship, and we're having it actually off-site this year. I'm excited about that. We're having it at Cherry Hill Park, um, and so if you need help with directions on that, let me know. But that will be at Cherry Hill Park on the 14th at 10 o'clock. So that's going to be a 10 o'clock service. Uh, so it's a little bit warmer um, and the light's a little bit uh, more there for us uh, for the service. Bring a lawn chair if you, um, because we're going to have picnic tables, but the reality is it'll be nice to have your own chair as well as bring your own table service and bring something to share because we're going to have a potluck directly following service. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it always is. So join us, not this Sunday, but next Sunday for outdoor worship. I want to talk about um, scripture um, and try to take me seriously with this hat. Um, but I want to talk about scripture uh, for this Sunday. It's really about stewardship. And it's Jesus talking about not being afraid. He says, do not fear, little flock. Um, and what he's talking about is something that all of us struggle with, which is this fear of having enough. We have a security problem in our country where we never feel like we have enough, that we've saved enough, we have enough retirement, we have enough for our kids. And I, as a young parent, just you know, trying to pay down all my student loans, all that kind of stuff, Katie and I, my wife and I, we struggle every day with this notion of fear. Fear of if we're going to have enough. Fear of not being able to provide for our daughter. It's real. And Jesus speaks into it and says, he does not want us to live a life of scarcity, live a life of fear, but instead to live a life of abundance, to know that God will provide, that God provides always. He's not going to stop. Now he will never stop providing. And when we live in that place, when we believe and we have hope that God provides for all of us, we're dressed for action. We're dressed and ready to serve, to love, to be open to God in our midst. And I think that's a lesson we all need to hear and a reminder we all need to hear in a world full of feeling like we're not enough, that we don't have enough, but that God says, you are enough and I will provide for you and your family. Join us this Sunday to hear more about that. My last thing I want to do is I want to pray for the next 10 families. Again, we have finished our photo directory, and so we're now moving to the written directory, and we're praying for those families. So those families are as follows. Arlen and Deanna Braun, Karen Brown, Mary Bulo, Jason, Melanie, and Caleb Busiewicz, Carson and Barb Christofferson, Candy Corbin, Sherry Crock, the Dohertys, Tony, Vicki, Evan, and Blake, the Davidsons, Scott, Shelley, Val, and Will, and Bill and Marilyn Davidson. We pray for you, and of course, we are always holding everyone up in prayer. Everyone needs prayer, to be completely honest, but we're holding those 10 families up in particular this week, that God may shine his light and help them in whatever they're going through. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful week. And hopefully you can have a zany week and wear a goofy hat this Saturday or uh, this you know, weekend. So thank you so much, and have a wonderful rest of your week.